Today, October 4, is the feast of St. Francis of Assisi. Francis was the son of Pietro di Bernardoni, a cloth merchant and Lady Pica, who may have come from France. At Francis' birth, his father was away on a business trip to France, and his mother had him baptized Giovanni. On his return, however, Pietro changed the infant's name to Francisco because of either his interest in France or his wife's background. His youth was most likely without serious moral lapses and his exuberant love of life and a general spirit of worldliness made him a recognized leader of the young men of the town. In 1202, he took part of a war between Assisi and Perugia, was held prisoner for almost a year, and on his release fell seriously ill. After his recovery, he attempted to join the papal forces under Count Gentile against the Emperor Frederick II in Apulia in late 1205. On his journey, however, he had a vision or dream that bade him return to Assisi and await the call to a new kind of knighthood. On his return, he dedicated himself to solitude and prayer so that he might know God's will for him. Several other episodes contribute to his conversion to the apostolic life. A vision of Christ while Francis prayed in a grotto near Assisi. An experience of poverty during the pilgrimage to Rome, where in rags he mingled with the beggars before St. Peter's Basilica and begged alms. An incident in which he not only gave alms to a leper, but also kissed his hand. Among such episodes, the most important according to his disciple, the first biographer Thomas of Celano, occurred at the ruined chapel of San Damiano outside the gate of Assisi, when Francis heard the crucifix above the altar command him, Go, Francis, and repair my house which, as you see, is well nigh in ruins. Taking this literally, Francis hurried home, gathered some fine cloth from his father's shop, and rode off to the nearby town of Foligno, where he sold both cloth and horse. He then tried to give the money to the priest at San Damiano, whose refusal prompted Francis to throw the money out of the window. Angered, his father kept him at home and then brought him before the civil authorities. When Francis refused to answer the summons, the father called him before the Bishop of Assisi. Before any accusations were made, Francis, without a word, peeled off his garments, even removing his breeches, and restore them to his father. Completely naked, he said, until now I have called you my father on earth, but henceforth I can truly say, Our Father who art in heaven. The astonished bishop gave him a cloak, and Francis went off to the woods of Mount Subasio above the city. Francis renounced worldly goods and family ties to embrace a life of poverty. He repaired the church of San Damiano, refurbished a chapel dedicated to St. Peter the Apostle, and then restored the now famous little chapel of St. Mary of the Angels on the plain below Assisi. There, on the feast of St. Matthias, on February 24, 1208, 
he listened at Mass to the account of the mission of Christ to the Apostles from the Gospel according to Matthew. And as you go, preach the message, the kingdom is at hand. Take no gold, no silver, no money in your belts, no bag in your journey, nor two tunics, nor sandals, nor staff, for the laborer deserves his food. And whatever town or villa you enter, find out who is worthy in it, and stay with them until you depart. According to Thomas Celano, this was the decisive moment for Francis who declared, This is what I wish. This is what I am seeking. This is what I am seeking. This is what I want to do from the bottom of my heart. He then removed his shoes, discarded his staff, put on a rough tunic, and began to preach repentance. Music